yielding. Mr. Speaker, I rise in strong support uh, of the uh, omnibus spending agreement that's before us today, which will finally fund the government for the remainder of fiscal year 2017. Uh, the, the bill before us is not a perfect bill, but it represents a, a, a good bipartisan uh, compromise. Now, Mr. Speaker, uh, we need to uh, engage in good faith discussions about our values and priorities, not participate in posturing to social media. It's my hope that uh, my congressional colleagues on both sides of the aisle will continue the constructive tone that this represents. This fiscal year 2017 agreement delivers on many priorities important to Rhode Island. It restores the year-round Pell Grant program, or summer Pell eligibility, allowing summer students to receive Pell Grants uh, funds to help them finish their degrees on time. And rather than slash funding, as the, uh, the President had requested, this compromise also adds $2 billion in funding for the National Institutes of Health, which conducts vital research in our efforts to treat and cure catastrophic diseases and drives innovative, innovative economic development. In the defense side, uh, this agreement funds vital national security programs, including the, the uh, continued procurement of Virginia-class submarines and ongoing development of the new Columbia-class uh, work that I am proud to say happens at Quonset Point in my district. So I want to thank all of those involved in these negotiations on both sides of the aisle for their commitment to achieving a good faith compromise that will keep the government open and working for the American people. I hope that we can continue on a similar bipartisan agreement as we plan uh, for the next fiscal year. And I want to thank my colleague for yielding, and I yield